Nice evening for a walk, isn't it? Eerie. There's something in the air. Can you smell it? Spruces. Spruces, firs, pines. I was always bad at telling conifers apart. Where spruces prickle, firs just tickle. Fur? That's Tana in German. Just like my name. Never thought about it. Why? What's your name? Tannhauser. We'd pronounce it Tannhäuser with an umlaut. German roots? Yes, my grandpa. These things on the ground. We call them fir cones. As a matter of fact, though, they are actually spruce cones. Did you know that? What do you mean, actually? Well, fir cones come to pieces when they fall off the trees. Spruce cones stay intact. Some things. You have to see them. You're from around these parts? No, just visiting. Getting accustomed to it, I guess. Me neither. I come here for the beautiful view. Smoke? No thanks. I quit. The climate makes me feel a lot better. That's for sure. So what are you doing up here, all on your own? Fed up with all the hurly-burly down there? I just like traveling. Always on the road, hiking and all that. So you're taking a break? Oh, I lost my hiking boots. They just slipped over the railing. And now they're gone. If you ask me, we are really all in the same vast backyard. All this madness. Looking for some kind of meaning. Anything at all. Sounds a bit like you're going through a life crisis. Oh no. Quite the opposite is true. I gained insight. That's what I did. Inside. Exactly. That's it. What about the locals? Do you know them? Most of them. I am actually visiting this place every year. Why? You know a man called Lazarus Tuft? Yes, I do. Fascinating man. He absolutely crushed me at Doppelkopf once. No one knows for sure where he came from and what he is doing here. Legend says he bought the old mansion in the woods off of his Doppelkopf millions. He rarely ever visits town. Hardly surprising the way folks keep talking around here. Anyway, let them talk. That's my position. I saw you down there at the raffle. Yes, I tried my luck. Did you win? Just a snuff box. Such a letdown. I've sworn off the devil's dealings. You? Look at that. You're a lucky fella. Now let's see what fortune has in store for you. Are you ready? This is your prize. A can of... cat food. Generously provided by the Trüberbrook Advertisers Association. Oh my. Thanks, I guess. Well, enjoy. <laughs> I've won a can of cat food. I've got to go. Okay. Have a nice evening. Beverly, it is widely known that Corvidae are quite sociable and intelligent beings. I recently became acquainted with no less than a swarm of these impressive singing birds. Sometimes, I wish I could be like them. If I could just fly south with them, I wonder if they would accept me as one of their own. Over here, little birdies. Whoops. I must have overfed them. Hey, 
get lost, you wet blankets. Laney's left her favorite spot, after all. There's a brown tube inside. I could use it for the quantum discriminator. The kid will be traumatized for her entire life if I just disassemble her only friend. I don't think I can do this. Hi, Lainey. What's cracking? They are sharing the Great Twilight Area Celebration Marathon today. 12 hours of bliss in a row. They are having the ever so riveting town fair outside. Wouldn't you like to go out to the real world once in a while? The real world is in there. Can't you see? But there is ice cream and cotton candy waiting outside. I'll think about it. But for now, I need to keep on watching. I can't open it without the right tool. Baron? Mr. Tannhauser, good to see you. The pleasure is all mine. I saw you at the raffle, right? Did you win anything? I won a pair of hiking boots. <sighs> Take a look at me. How am I supposed to wander anywhere? You, on the other hand, Mr. Tannhauser, you look like the type to be struck by wanderlust once in a while. What about you? Uh, did you have any luck with your ticket? I won this. Excuse me, is that uh, cat food by any chance? I am asking on behalf of Klaus. He loves cat food. Uh, would you mind making a trade? What do you have in mind? You leave this delicious can of cat food to Claus and me, and uh, in return, I give you this new pair of hiking boots size 13. Uh, what do you think? Sounds like a perfect deal. So let's make it so. It will be to your benefit. About the raffle, did you win? Just a snuff box. Such a letdown. I've sworn off the devil's dealings. You? I'm in possession of a pair of hiking boots. Didn't you say you lost yours? Yes, indeed. I'd exchange anything from my inventory for a new pair of hiking boots. Would you trade with me by chance? Your hiking boots in exchange for my snuff tobacco. Fair enough. Oh, thank you. How nice. And they are a perfect fit, too. I've got to go. Okay. Have a nice evening. Thanks again. You're welcome. Finally, I can make off again. I can hear the call of the wild. Farewell. Farewell. Arr. I saw you at the raffle, right? Did you win? Arr, just this voucher for a boat trip. Man, I hate water. I'm just so happy to be here with both of my feet on dry land. But aren't those stereotypical sailors' clothes you were wearing? So? So you have a fear of water? Aye. Philosophobia. It all started when I was a little boy, back home. On a sweet summer's day, I was swimming in the lake when my Uncle Ulf suddenly cannonballed in. I will always remember these two massive cheeks rapidly closing in. To be honest, it's still haunting me today. I nearly drowned back then. <clears throat> Later I realized that was the day I developed this terrible, terrible fear of everything deeper than a puddle. Uh, you? I won this. Is that snuff tobacco? Oh man, I love snuff tobacco. Would you like to make a deal? What do you have in mind? Would you like to have the voucher in exchange? You know, the one for the boat trip. 
on that lovely lake. That's what I got at the raffle tonight. That's from the local boat rental. Yes! Do you want it? Okay, let's make it so. All right. Deal. <laughs>